Republican pundits thought the coalition of minorities, young people, women, and upscale whites weren't as excited this election cycle. Well, turns out they did show up for the president and in big numbers. Big mistake. Neil King joins us now. It's the day, day after the election, Neil, and we actually have some numbers to detail for people how President Obama really rode to victory. And it's, it's really a, a sobering message for the Republicans, what we're seeing, Neil. And, and my first question for you, really, Republicans, they seem to be losing their grip on minority voters, aren't they? You know, Ralph, there's so many ways to look at this. And while I was sitting here, I was thinking, you know, we can talk about Hispanics, African Americans, Asians, we can talk about women, we can talk about seniors. But the best way to look at this really is to look at the age cohorts to say, all right, where did the young go? Because it's the young that are, of course, the most diverse. Where did the old go? And the old is the least diverse part of the population. And it's a fascinating break. Romney won everybody, the majority of everybody over 40 by a moderate margin. And Obama, by a much larger margin, won everybody under 40. And, and for everybody under 30, he was in the like 60 percentile. And it's the under 30 that's obviously the face of the rising United States. And this is an infinitely more diverse group of people than those who are over 60. And that in itself encapsulates, I think, the challenge that the Republican Party faces. You want to own the people that are under 35. You don't want to be the franchise of the people that are over 55 or over 60. Those people aren't going to be around long enough to build your party on them. Are young voters making, uh, do they make up a bigger portion of the electorate now, or are they just more colorful? Well, I mean, yeah. well, that was the other thing. You know, there was this big debate, which you mentioned at the very start of the show, about would the folks that brought Obama to victory in 2008 show up in the same numbers? And what conservatives woke up to yesterday was the realization that that, what they thought was a temporary realignment, just a kind of passing love affair for this one person, could be a lasting realignment for the Democratic Party if they don't do something about it because they did show up in the same ways that they did in 2008. Hispanics even more so, because there are more of them around to vote. A lot of them have turned 18 in the last four years. And kids who, in the end, it turns out, those faded Obama posters evidently weren't as faded as Paul Ryan thought they were. And they came out uh, almost 20% of the electorate, 19% or so. They were 18% before. So that in itself, those things alone really pushed uh, Obama over the edge and a bunch of the younger sort of states like uh, Virginia, Colorado, Nevada. Talk, talk about Virginia and Colorado, specifically Fairfax County and Arapahoe County. Those were interesting. Well, if you look at Fairfax, Fairfax is really in so many ways like the ultimate melting pot uh, of the United States. I mean, it's a huge Asian, Asian population. I talked yesterday with Jerry Conley, who's the uh, congressional representative for that area of Northern Virginia. He was talking about how 3% of that county was foreign born 20 years ago. Now it's like 30%. Um, you go out there and it's every imaginable kind of restaurant, every imaginable kind of grocery store. And it's also the place where diversity of population meets with like young urban sort of professionals. And it's the ultimate sort of democratic stronghold. And you find those kinds of metropolitan, booming metropolitan areas you know, outside of Charlotte, North Carolina, out, you know, in, in areas of all over the West, for that matter. And that's the, you know, these are states, Colorado, Virginia, that going back a couple of elections ago were pretty much reliable red states, the kind of thing that people rarely really talked about is tilting into the Democratic column. Now it seems that they may just be going firmly in that direction. 